I know that you've seen the leaked Funko Pop price increase that's going to be coming up here in 2023, and we all expected that the prices were going to go up. Now, I looked at this list and I thought about it for a while, and the prices are going up, right? They go up three, they go up five, but there's something missing on this list that for some reason no one's talking about. The fact is that there's no 10 inch pops on this list or jumbo pops, depending on when you started collecting. If you collected back in 2019, they were 10 inches, and then Funko changed the name to Jumbo. They're no nowhere on this list. So, so we this list is fake or they're doing away with the 10 inch pops but that seems only suiting that we talk about every one of the 10 inch pops in my collection and there is a lot more than I thought. All right, so if I'm being honest, when I decided that I was going to make this video, I didn't realize how many 10 inch pops I had until I started stacking them up. So let's get into the first one. The first one is going to be 666 Zombie Thing. This was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I'm sorry, I had to look at that for a minute and make sure. This was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. This thing was really awesome. This was the first one of the zombie lines that they released. Before this, I actually said that I wasn't going to get in into the zombie line but then they made this one and I had to have the zombie line at that point because then it was really cool <laughs> really really awesome 10 inch and if you miss that 10 inch I think that maybe you can pick him up on the secondary market I don't really know next is going to be the black light galacticus now this is number 809 they show a bunch of these on the back of this box you can pick this one up at five and below currently. There's also a chase variant of this one. One of the few 10 inch pops out there that have a chase variant, but that one, that one has a chase variant and it's pretty cool. You should check it out when you get a minute. Next is going to be one of them that is probably the widest, argumentatively, the widest 10 inch pop out there is going to be the Grogu. 6369 has a, a bunch of them on the back. This thing is probably wider than any 10 inch pop they've made yet this is a really big one and probably a must for a lot of a lot of your star wars collectors i would imagine that that pop is a must pop for a lot a lot of your star wars collectors next is one of them the only one that i have a chase variant for is going to be 159 superman this was i think a walmart exclusive really awesome pop now this one came with the chase variant the chase variant has these red eyes is the only difference now let's talk about this chase variant for a second though because this chase variant the box is actually different as well you don't normally see that when it comes to a chase variant so i don't believe that this one was supposed to be a chase variant i think this one was just supposed to be another pop that they turned into a chase variant but for whatever reason super super cool pop one of my favorites of all times but superman's actually one of my favorite comic book characters a lot of people don't know that but has been for a really really long time next is a target exclusive oh this one this one is absolutely fire you haven't seen this one come back around in a really long time is going to be 367 boba fett 40th year empire strikes back this is a really awesome pop as you can see i left the cellophane on that this one currently sells for upwards of a hundred bucks right now in the secondary market if you're gonna go pick that one up on the secondary market if you're a star wars fan i think it's a must but in all fairness a lot of my 10 inch pops were bought back when you could buy 10 inch pops for under 30 bucks or, or they were right at 30 bucks they weren't at the 50 dollar marker that they are at now next is going to be the kylo ren now just actually picked this one up for me this is a glow variant 344 they're showing just a lot of them on the back of this box the only thing that glows on him is his sword and some of those cracks really awesome pop really really cool one 
there is still a really lot of awesome 10 inch pops going on in this collection next is going to be a GameStop exclusive Joker now none of the boxes are ever in that great a condition on these 10 inch pops so so collecting a 10 inch pop for the boxes is, is probably not the smartest thing you could do as a collector if, if you're gonna be going after those for the box is probably a bad idea there's one jumbo pop that i missed or, or is it mega pop mega pop there's a mega pop that i missed that i would have got which is one of the very first ones which was the batman the really big one but he had the og suit on i missed that one it was also a limited run before i get into like my largest quantity of 10 inch pops let's go into the godzilla versus king kong these are the neon city walmart exclusives these things Things were really cool to me they're still really cool I don't know what they're going for in the secondary market but if I had to imagine they're going for quite a bit because these things are really cool they just have a different color to it so you can see that it has kind of like that purple look to it and then you get into the Godzilla version of that and then Godzilla has the same one, but it's that blue. Super awesome 10 inch. These are probably some of my favorite 10 inch sets that I've ever picked up. Super awesome. They were kind of hard to get your hands on because Walmart kind of dropped the ball on those a little bit. And they were a little diff difficult. Some of them had them, some of them didn't have them. The ones that had them normally had a bunch of busted boxes. It was this was one of the craziest 10 inches to get my hands on yet. Next is going to be my Star Wars Bubba Freak, Bubba Freak, Baba Baba Freak. <laughs> I was trying to say that this one's really cool. So this was from the latest Star Wars. He kind of did this whole like he was fixing the droid. Super awesome part of the movie. I love this pop. This is a 10 inch pop, but everything Star Wars is kind of awesome. As you can see, these things are stacking up all around me now at this point. I had no idea that I had this many 10 inch pops in my collection. This next line of pops is going to be the biggest lineup in the set. This, I did not realize that I had this many. Deadpool 10 inch pops. I didn't even realize that they made this many Deadpool 10 inch pops. I would imagine that I have the biggest collection of Deadpool pops on YouTube. I'm going to put it out there that I do. Maybe I don't. Prove me different if I don't. First one is going to be a Walmart Friday. This was a Black Friday exclusive. This one is got like three or four different variants. This one is really cool. So this is the first one. Then we went into the same Black Friday, had the blue suited variants. This is also a really cool one as well. That same Black Friday had the gray suit variants. <laughs> really cool and then it also had which is one of the coolest ones out of the group the gold suit variant this guy is really cool now there was actually five of them in this black friday i thought that there was only four so one of them had a gun there were two red suits one of them had a gun one of them had the swords i picked up the one who had the swords yes the swords because i didn't know that those two were different had i had known at the time that those two were different i would have picked up both of them next is going to be the squirrel deadpool 967 this comes from you know the whole like birthday deadpool thing they had going on this was a gamestop exclusive i don't take him out of the box because he's flocked and i have a fear with that much flocking that it's going to do something to the actual pop last but not least and what's in my tenants collection is going to be the zombie deadpool which is another walmart exclusive all of these 10 inch pops or jumbo pops or whatever it is that you want to call them are really awesome and i look i look forward to funko making some new really cool ones coming up in the future and let's hope that that list wasn't just missing it because it was an accident let it because it was an accident and not because they're doing away with them i like my 10 inch pops and maybe they'll lower the price at some point that i can start buying these things again who knows i truly appreciate you coming to hang out with me i i normally walk off at this point but i'm gonna have to somehow get around all of these pops I almost I almost forgot I almost forgot there is a couple of these guys that are currently out of the box and then another one oh man there's so many of these so so we have 
the 10 inch Captain Grunch that is out of the box. Really awesome pop. Then we have my 10 inch Michael King Jordan, which is also out of the box. And then we have the 10 inch Biggie Smalls. Can't believe that I almost missed that guy. Truly appreciate y'all. I'll catch you next time. Have a good one.